all right what is going on everyone and welcome to a unique video so i'm going to be showing you how to make and use the origin of dark hunger thing so it's currently the event right now and if you log in every day you'll get these so the first two days you log in i believe you got like the pre uh made ones and then after that you get the essence of limit so every day you log in for i think the next few days uh, you get two of them and i'm going to show you how to use it because there's been a lot of questions i thought it was pretty straightforward but yeah so step one how do you make it what you're going to want to do is collect 300 million silver i know that's kind of a lot but i mean it's ultimately worth it so i'm gonna put something on the screen right now so this is how it works and i'm gonna show you how to buy it um so as you guys can see right now you go to this alfredo dude he's in belia next to the target dummy to training dummies right you use your 300 million and you buy the essence of devouring you buy one and what you want to do after that is you heat this or is it heat or alchemy i think it's heat so you combine the ones you get from your login reward and then the one that you buy from the m dude okay so here's where things get tricky and where things might uh be like asked a lot so first of all what kind of stack are we going to be using it on and how do you use it so let me show you how to use it first you go to your black spirit right then you go to the extract button and then you see this is our stack you do this is 100 percent, and it'll bring our stack up from 242 to 245 now first of all it uses the stack in enhancement not the valks and not the bonus ones you get from your rubin journal or whatever it's called so you look at your number right here the one without valks and the no bonus so then now that we have 100 percent, or well it's always 100 percent if you use it we get to bring it up to another three or up to 230 like 230 is the hard cap you can't go past that one so we click it cool now we have a 245 stack and that is the max we could go with this one and let's bring up the chart again you guys may have some questions how does this work so if you use it on like you know the thing that we combined like the origin that we just used right so if you use it one on 100 stack it would go up plus 11 and that's the chart of what they uh, pearl abyss picked out for us so the questions that I think might come up a lot is, is it better to use it on a lower or higher stack? Uh, I think the higher stack is worth more. So whatever, whatever your highest stack is, bring that up to a 230. Reasoning being is, uh, higher stacks are very hard to get. And to me personally, if you guys have ever seen my enhancing videos, I usually stop at 200 because if I pop this 200 stack, that's actually like, it's worth a lot. And not only that is it's just kind of hard to get back in general. So you really want to use it on the higher stack as more value. Obviously it looks like, oh, you get less value plus three on a 227, which is what we did to bring it up to 230. But trust me when I say if you get a 230 stack and even if you don't need it now you will one day so it's something you should always keep for the future and so what do i think is the most valuable one obviously i think up to 227 plus three um if you have a 228 or 229 i think i would probably not use it on that but i would use it on something within the 209 to 227 bracket because that's slightly more valuable and you can push it up whereas getting plus two or plus one obviously that's good but it's not as much value as using it on something so what i wanted to like actually discuss in my opinion what stacks do what obviously if you're going for a pen black star or a pen accessory well, I guess pen accessories kind of uh, de really depends. Or boss gear. 
Um, so let's start with the 100 stack up to 160. I... Well, actually, no. Let's use the 100 to 185 bracket. I have clicked Tet Blackstar all the way up to past 200. But I would recommend your average person, if you are starting from 100, uh, go to like 180, 185-ish, and then... Then I would use the Origin of Dark Hunger on there. And that goes for, I guess, boss gear as well. If you're starting at 100, I mean, boss gear is really the only legit way that's not, like, going to break your bank. And to build, like, anything past the 230. So if you're trying to make, like, a 250 stack or a, I don't know, pen disto or something, uh, the best way to make a stack is really just failing boss gear as in like red nose uragons whatever those kind of things not like red gear so what do you do with uh, 100 to 185 you fail black stars or any boss gear up to that one what do you do with uh 200 and up stack all the way up to like two three hundred you would be clicking pen black stars, pen accessories, and by pen accessories, I don't mean the ones that are worth like 40 billion. I mean, like you're clicking super rare things that you can profit a lot off of, like pen distos, or if you're like the super 1%, you're probably making a, uh, what are those things? Uh, Deborekas? Or... Clicking Fallen Gods, up to Tet, that is. So, I feel like if you have a 230 stack, you kind of already know what your goals are. But I just wanted to talk about it in terms of a new player perspective. And, like, this event, it is confusing, especially if you're new and you're just like, what do I do with these? Um, so, you have up until September 21st, I believe, to uh, actually use them. And my opinion is use them as well as you can. So here's the thing. So if you are an endgame player, obviously you want the 230 stack. And then you could obviously Valk it. And then the highest you'll get is a 240 something. Or 243 without the bonuses. Something like this. But I have to plus two. So if you don't have any permanent enhanced chances, the highest you can get is 243. And so those are for the top end players who are going for the super hard enchants, Pen Black Star, Tet Fallen God, Debereka, Labreska, as you know, Pen Accessories. If you are a mid tier player going for Pen Boss Gears or your first like Tet Black Star or something, I think you could bring that stack from like the 145 up to the 185 range. That is good for your first Tet Black Star. Um, obviously, I've seen Black Stars hit on like 100. I've seen Black Stars hit on 250. I don't know. So that's just my opinions. If you have any questions, and one thing I would recommend is if you have a goal in mind of some sort of gear, feel free to ask me in the comments, and I'll tell you in my best judgment on what stack I would probably click that around. But... Just to get all the basics out of the way, let's start over. 100 to uh, like 185 is a Tet Black Star. If you are going for Tet accessories, you should start at 110 and probably stop at like 120 and start over at 110 again. <laughs> so within that range. Uh, and that also depends on what the uh, accessory is, because that's kind of tricky to answer. But, like, let's say you are going for a, um, like, a, your first Tet Ogre ring. It, yeah, 10, 110 to 120 is fine. If you're going for your first, like, Tet Labresca, no, not Labresca, what is it? Uh, Debereka, which is the super rare ones. I would honestly use like 130 and up and definitely overstack it for very rare accessories. 
And if you're just looking for random boss gears, I I would really struggle to even recommend doing that, but I guess uh, anything else would go. But if you have anything specific to ask, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to try to answer it. So I just wanted to make this video on how do you actually use these fail stacks and what the best things would be for. So if you have over 200, use it on the 200. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.